Hey everybody. Today we're getting started with GitHub. GitHub is a wonderful centralized location where you can put your Git repositories, whether those are our projects or something else, and uh, have them be visible to potential employers, collaborators, whoever you might want to impress with your excellent data science and software skills. Um, early on, it's really great to build a profile so that uh, you can showcase those skills. Later on, it becomes an essential skill set to have in its own right as you start working with other people and collaborating on various projects. By the end of this video, we'll have pushed our first repository to GitHub, getting you started with an online presence that you can continue to grow and develop over time. First of all, you'll need to go to github.com, sign up for an account, the free tier is fine, one thing to keep in mind as you're signing up for your GitHub account is that you should use the email address that you would like to have associated with your public data science self. So potentially use something that's a little bit more professional sounding. Okay, so for the rest of this vid, I'm going to assume that you've already got a GitHub account and uh, we'll go from there. I'm going over to R, as usual here, and uh, the big thing that I need to do and that I need to make sure that you can do is to have our studio connected to that GitHub account. In other words, we need to have some sort of secure way to take the data that we have in our R project and get it up onto that website should we so choose. Um, the tools I'm gonna be using here predominantly come from the use this package. If you haven't already installed this, you'll need to do that with install.packages, parenthesis quote, use this. I'll just jump right in with the library of use this. So, um, the first thing that we need to do is create underscore github underscore token. No arguments in that function. This is in the use this package. And this will take you to your newly created GitHub account. It'll ask you to log in and uh, you'll get to a screen like this. New personal access token. And so um, basically this is just gonna be a secure key that uh, we're gonna paste into our studio that's gonna keep track of, that uh, it's gonna use whenever it communicates directly with your GitHub account. Describe the token's use case. I don't uh, usually put a lot of work into thinking about this. Our studio, for instance, is plenty sufficient. Expiration date, you can choose your level of security that you need. I don't do a lot of high stakes stuff with a lot of collaborators, so I'm gonna go with 90 days, that can be okay. You can leave all of these scopes the same, um, at least to start, these are not things that you particularly need to worry about until much later on. After you click generate token, you will have a long string of letters and numbers here, which I'll partially, at least partially, blur out before publishing this. This is something you wanna keep private. Um, otherwise, people will be able to access your GitHub, which is uh, not what you want. Okay, so um, I'm going to click the Copy button, get it on my clipboard, and then I'll go back to our studio. I'm going to want to input that token into our studio, basically. And the command I'm going to use for that is from the Git creds package. And so if you haven't installed that, you'll need to do that. And then it's Git creds, double colon, Git creds set. And you could also, of course, just library the git, cre git creds package and then just use the git creds set function directly. Once I hit enter there, command enter in this case, you'll see um, you'll get the opportunity to put in your credentials. Now, for me, I already have credentials in here, so I'm going to have to replace mine. But for you, it should just go straight to enter new password or token and then you will paste what you found from um, on GitHub, that was the token that was produced there. So the blurry part here is exactly the same for me as the blurry part a second ago. And then, it'll, then you'll get a message adding new credentials, removing credentials from cache, in my case, because I had uh, credentials previously set up. And now we should be connected to our GitHub. Lovely. So, um, Let's actually put a project on GitHub. Um, I don't wanna put a whole messy project. In my case, I'm working in my personal equitable equations project. So I'm gonna go and start a new project. New project. There we go. So I'm gonna do it from a new directory, new project. I'll go ahead and do it on my desktop. So how about um, uh, equitable equations, GitHub. 
<laughs> Sandbox. Nice long name. There we go. I think that's okay. So um, you need to have a Git repository. The point of GitHub is that you're putting Git repositories there. If you aren't already version controlling your work, I recommend that. I'll put a link up top to my vid getting you started with GitHub. So that's a, a or getting you started with Git. And uh, that's, I think, an important step to take as a, as, a, as a developing data scientist. So we'll go ahead and create that project. And I'll open up that file that I just had. And I'm going to save it in this new prod, in this folder. So I'll go to save as, and I'm going to save it in this project folder. So in my files pane for this project, you'll see I just have the project file, the a git ignore file that always gets created by default. I'll talk about that in a separate video. And then my GitHub setup notes that I just did. Okay, so um, let's commit this to our repository, git. I'll stage all three of these and commit them with the very simple message, initial commit. There we go. Okay, great. So at this point, R is connected, R Studio is connected with my GitHub. I have a repository. And what I'd like to do now is to put this repository onto GitHub. To say that differently, to push this to GitHub. So we just need one more command for this, and the use this package has it all lined up for us. It's the use GitHub command. And when I execute this, when I change project, I lo projects, I lost my library command because I started over in a new session. So now let's use use this, use GitHub. And you can see it is um, taking my active project, putting it on GitHub. And so I've got a, it immediately opened up a browser window for me. You can see equitable equations, that's my GitHub. Equitable Equations GitHub Sandbox, the thing I just created is right here. And the three files that were there um, in my Git repository are now here on my GitHub. Now, right now this page doesn't look so great. There's all sorts of things that you can do to touch this up. For instance, you can go to the About tab and just type in a description or whatever. Um, I want to point out the README. So um, the README is a simple document that explains basically what the repository is for, what its purpose is, why people might want to look at it, for instance. Um, you can add a README directly here, but honestly, I think it's more in the spirit of what we do and, and in many ways um, easier to do the README via R. So let's do that. This is another great um, use this function from the use this package. It's called use readme md, md for markdown. And uh, spoiler alert, this is gonna use markdown syntax. And so we can use all of our knowledge that we gained when we were learning markdown, for instance, as we we're practicing quarto and so on. So this is gonna be a heading. This is gonna be a heading that's gonna show up on um, our GitHub in a few minutes. I don't have any badges or anything. So um, I think I'll make a really simple description. This is just a git and github sandbox. <laughs> For y'all, because I love you. There we go. And uh, let's save that. Notice the file name is readme.md, capitalized R-E-A-D-M-E. Um, GitHub is going to recognize this as a specific sort of Markdown document that it should use for the um, for display on your GitHub page. Okay, so um, the last thing I want to do now is to commit this change and then push that over to GitHub. So let's do that. I'm going to Git. I'm going to commit this. So basically just saying this is a file that I want to track. I want uh, to start tracking it now. And so how about just add readme, commit that. Just a reminder, the text you've got up here is the actual um, terminal code that's being used to um, commit the changes to the GitHub or to the Git repository. All right, so um, 
Is it super hard to push our changes to GitHub? No, it's just a button. There's a push button right here that will literally take the repository, push it up to GitHub, update the changes that you made here to that page. And that same button exists in your Git tab right here. Notice the comment here, your branch is one ahead of origin slash main by one commit, indicating that uh, we have a commit in our repository here that's not reflected on GitHub. Let's go ahead and push this out. There we go. Again, you can see the code that's been used. And uh, let's just take one more look on, uh, on this repo. This is just a Git and GitHub sandbox for y'all. So exactly as promised.